A high profile murder trial is underway right now in Beaver County. The man central to the Rachel Del Tondo murder case is now on trial in another unrelated homicide case. Sheldon, Sheldon Jeter is charged in the shooting death of Tyreek Pugh in Aliquippa a year ago. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan is at the Beaver County Courthouse with more. Andy. Jury selection will continue in what even his attorneys concede is a very tough case. But Sheldon Jeter's legal troubles may not end there. Sheriff deputies led Sheldon Jeter into the courtroom in shackles, wearing a mask and facing a mountain of evidence against him in the murder of Tyreek Pugh, a one-time close friend gunned down on an Aliquippa street. On May 15, 2020, that's where police found Pugh's lifeless body riddled with bullets, and prosecutors are expected to show surveillance video of Jeter's car pulling away from the scene. In addition, investigators say they found a Glock pistol under Jeter's bed, a weapon matching several shell casings found near the body. Even Jeter's attorney, Michael Santacola, concedes the evidence against his client is ample. This is a tough case, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult case, there's no doubt. It's going to be a lot of witnesses, it's going to be a lot of emotion, um, and there's a lot of evidence we have to challenge. Yeah. Uphill battle for you. I would say that's probably true, yes. Jeter, a former Aliquippa football and basketball star, came to national attention three years ago in the aftermath of the murder of Rachel Del Tondo. A former boyfriend, police searched his home and confiscated his cell phone. As we reported more recently, evidence about his whereabouts that night have been presented before a grand jury investigating the Del Tondo murder. No one has been charged in that case, and at least initially, investigators looked at several potential suspects. Santa Cola maintains there's no connection between these two murders and maintains Jeter is innocent in both. I do not think there's any relationship between that case and this case whatsoever, other than the fact that Sheldon Jeter is involved in one and there's multiple people involved in the other. Hope was to have opening statements tomorrow, but as of now, only half of the needed 16 jurors and alternates have been impaneled. Jury selection will continue in the morning. Reporting at the Beaver County Courthouse, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.